Hey, good morning. Welcome to day four of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. I just have a very brief devotional that I want to jump into that I hope encourages you today. Uh, There's a portion of scripture that I love to look at this time of the year with resolutions and habits and goals and different things. And it's found in Genesis chapter 26. It's about the verses about 17 to 25. There's a story in there about Isaac and his men going to redig some wells uh, that Abraham and his uh, people had uh, dug back in the previous generation. So Isaac's men go out and they find the well, they dig it, uh, and they're successful. They find the water and now they have a well, but there's a problem. The Philistines show up and there's a fight. The Philistines say, hey, this is our area. This is our well. You can't uh, have this well. So Isaac, uh, Isaac's men leave that area. The next day, they do the same thing. They find a well, they redig it, and then again, I, I, the Philistines show up and they have to leave that area. The third day, they dig a well. They're successful. They find water again, and then no Philistines show up. There's no more fighting. So for a while, I thought the theme of this that I took away was the idea of consistency. You might have a bad day one or day two, but there's going to be a day three moment where you're going to experience a breakthrough. If you're trying a new habit, you're trying to get something to happen in your life, you want to have a better prayer life, if you'll just be consistent at it, one day it'll happen for you, right? But I think it's a, a bit bigger uh, than what than just the idea of consistency, and that's what I want to speak to you about briefly. Um, Isaac's men had a vision, right? And they also had a system. It wasn't a vision mixed together with like, the idea of consistency. So it wasn't just like, all right, we need a well. That's a great vision. We need to go dig a well. So they didn't just wander around the desert looking like, ah, maybe this is a good spot. Let's just start digging a well. There was a vision of, hey, if we're going to have sustained life in this area, we have to have a well. And then there was a system. After years and years, they knew where to find the well. They knew how to dig it. It was a big process. I mean, I can't imagine digging a well, like showing up with a bunch of guys being like, all right, like, let's dig up a hole. Like, sounds crazy. But there was a system. They had the right tools. They had everything they needed to be successful. So it wasn't just the idea of consistency. They didn't go back to Isaac and be like, hey, man, we tried. Like, let let me check the box. We, we, We made an attempt today to dig a well. But they followed through and they were successful because of an actual system. So it's January 11th. Maybe you haven't hit your goals how you wanted to or Things are a little bit off how you started your year. I know that's the way it is for me. I want to encourage you that your vision's not wrong. So you want to pray more. You want it to work out this year. You want to see something incredible in your family. That's great. Your vision is great. But maybe you've been consistent also. Very good. But if you're failing in any, any of these areas or if you're not achieving it the way that you want to achieve it or you thought you'd feel a little bit different or you haven't seen the fruit in your life just yet, Perhaps it's not just consistency, but it's your system. So my encouragement for you today is to inspect the whole thing, right? If you're trying to wake up early, it's not just about setting your alarm. It's about going to bed on time. It's about, well, you're eating the night before. There's so many things involved. If you're trying to pray more, have an established prayer life, that's something I always work on. For me, I knew I needed to pray in the morning. Okay, great. I can check a box, pray in the morning with my kids all being crazy, whatever. That's consistency, but it wasn't to the level of the Um, prayer life I wanted to see. So what I had to do is wake up before the kids. If I'm going to wake up before the kids, I get to, I have to go to bed at a proper hour, right? Which isn't great. I'm kind of a night owl. So I, you have to, you have to inspect the whole system. So I just want to encourage you, don't go back to the drawing board on your vision. You have the right vision. You have the right purpose that's motivating you. But if you're, you're, you're not hitting to the level that you want to hit yet, Perhaps you need to inspect the system. James Clear said in Atomic Atomic Habits, perhaps you've heard this, you won't fall to the level of your habits, you will fall to the level of your system. So your vision's not on trial, your system is. So I believe in you, I know you can be successful, and there's just maybe a few tweaks in our system that we can make that will set us up for greater success, not just in this 21 days of prayer and fasting, but also for the rest of this year. We will see you on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. for family prayer. I'm very excited. I love you all so much. I hope you have a wonderful day.